Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you build 16188 for Windows 10. This build is being released alongside Windows 10 Mobile build 15210, which in itself has a couple of bug fixes but doesn't really touch on anything significant. I'll be focusing on PC for today. It seems to be a revived trend as Microsoft Edge is the focus of today's release. This is because development and updates for Edge are bundled strictly to the releases of Windows 10 instead of through the Windows Store. As you should already know, Edge is the dedicated PDF viewer in Windows 10. Because of this, we've been seeing an increasing amount of focus being put into the experience. With a PDF file open here, you'll notice a couple of new buttons in the action bar. There's a rotate button, and a page layout button that lets you change how you view and navigate your PDF document. You can now ink onto PDF documents directly through Microsoft Edge. Just click on the pen icon like on any other web page and start drawing. You have several tool options and the option to save your edits. Navigation is also being improved, with a table of contents button being brought in from Edge's ebook reader for documents who support it. This is incredibly helpful for navigating huge PDF manuals or booklets. You can just click the title of a selection and the page will scroll you there automatically. The Settings button in Cortana now redirects to the Windows Settings, where all of her settings have been moved. This was done for the sake of discoverability, as many, including myself, argued that Cortana's old Settings page was a little out of sight and confusing. An entire Settings page in the Settings app has been dedicated to her. Now, a security system that was announced by Microsoft a couple of months ago is now available for testing by Windows Insiders. Windows Defender Application Guard is a feature that can now be enabled in the Windows Features dialog. Application Guard is one of Microsoft's moves against malicious attacks on devices or network PCs. Vulnerabilities are inevitable in a connected world, and attackers often exploit these by entering devices through things like malicious sites. Application Guard in Microsoft Edge can allow you to open pages in a virtualized environment, preventing malicious or untrusted code from having direct access to your system. Of course, your PC must be compatible with Hyper-V to have this option available, as this is how the virtualization is done. This option is mostly intended for organizations who are concerned about their security, although if you want to find out more about how this works, you can check out our website and search for Windows 10 Application Guard. Now, as with all these new features, there are also quite a few issues, so be aware of that. The Windows Insider program is not an expedited update route. It won't cause your device to explode, but you aren't guaranteed to run these builds without encountering some undocumented bug. This has been a quick update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com for more info.